So, I got a new guitar. Well, new to me. <laughs> This is a 1967 uh, Silvertone guitar. Uh, I don't know the history of this one in particular, but Silvertone is a brand that was like a Sears brand. And basically it started uh, with other electronics like stereos and whatnot. And they eventually branched off into musical instruments. But these guitars are not actually made by Sears, they're made by other manufacturers. More well-known ones actually for the time. Branded as Silvertone that were made by Dan Electro, Harmony, K, just to name a few. This one is a Tyco. My plan with this is to refurbish it and sort of get it back into working condition because as you can see right now, the bridge is missing so I can't put strings on it. Uh, so I don't even know if electronics work or how it sounds at all. Um, and there's a bushing missing from one of the tuning pegs up here so I'll have to get some more of those. Uh, also going to clean everything up. Like a lot of these tuning pegs are kind of really stiff and don't move very well so I'm going to clean that up. Uh, I'm going to figure out how this tailpiece works. Not really sure how the strings go in there. It's kind of weird. And uh, the main thing for me that concerns me the most is that where the neck attaches to the body, there seems to be one of the screws is kind of coming out and there's some space between the neck and the body. So I'm really hoping that that's not too big of an issue and I can just pull the screw out and maybe put a new one in or something. Um, and that'll sit just fine. I'm going to document this entire process as I sort of bring this guitar back to life. And if you'd like to be on that journey with me, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss uh, when the first video comes out. And it should be out, I don't know, in the very near future. Bye.